Hello, uh, yesterday I was asked uh, to do this lightning talk about two of my uh, personal projects. Uh, it's about regular expressions. Uh, regular expressions, I think everybody here know how to write them. Yeah, they are easy to write sometimes. Uh, but I noticed that usually your regular expressions in code doesn't change much. Usually I have only one in code, in code and it's done and it's there. If you are not doing some text editor or something uh, different, something similar. So why uh, we are uh, uh, having a static uh, string, uh, uh, string uh, representation of regular expression and the uh, regular expression are interpreted. We have programming in, uh, in C++, we don't like interpret language, languages usually. So uh, uh, you can uh, avoid this uh, interpretation uh, by uh, writing your own finite automata or uh, finite state automata, or you can uh, use some uh, library. Anyway, uh, there is a regular expression I think everybody understands. And uh, I was thinking uh, that it will, it will be nice to uh, work with a regular expression like with other types because every regular expression is doing something different. So I did something like this. It's exactly the same. Uh, you can do things like this. It's uh, done during compile time. Optimizer can do a lot of things with it. But uh, you can do like, like something like this. You can take part of your graph expression and uh, store it somewhere else and use on a lot of places. And you can do even uh, th uh, things like this. It's really easy. But uh, my friends and my colleagues doesn't like the syntax because they, they are used to, to all things and regular expression in all ways. So uh, we are back here. There is a proposal, I don't know actual state, but it's implemented in Clunk and GCC, which allows you to do this, respectively this. And actually it's this. I write a LL1 parser, which transforms this string into exactly the same type. And if you provide me grammars for JSON, I can parse JSON. There is an example, a very easy program. I tried to minimize code and use puts because I don't want to use some ill streams. They are generating very big code. And this is translated and optimized into this. It's only, uh, I think, 78 infection, no recursion, and only one, only two calls at the end uh, if you are printing uh, calling parts. More information you can uh, find on my webpage. And uh, that's all, and thank you. <laughs>